Hello friends, welcome to Mimi's workshop. Press the red subscribe icon down my channel and click on the bell symbol for regular notifications. Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen once again. I am back with an exclusive recipe today. No need to go out for tempting fish fries anymore. Now you can make it right in the indoors of your kitchen. So let's get started. To begin with, we shall first combine the ingredients in a bowl. Beginning with curd, it is preferably a full cream thick one which has a volume to it. Then to this we will add turmeric powder, coriander or dharia powder, cumin or jeera powder. Onion paste, about 3 tablespoons will be enough. Ginger paste, garlic paste, tomato ketchup or sauce whichever is available. Then we will add lemon juice to it. Garam masala powder, salt, sugar, now comes coriander leaves, dried kasuri methi leaves, and a hint of chicken tandoori masala powder it is optional and can be skipped if not handy remember about quarter teaspoon will be enough for the entire mix we do not want to overdo the flavor the marination of our fish is ready now time to smear it on the fish has been pre marinated with lemon juice just to kill its odd raw smell I have taken cream dodi but you can take any fish of your choice but suggested or most widely used fish for fish fingers is bhitki. After we are done coating the fish from both the sides with the mix, we will leave it for marination overnight. The more time allowed the better the masalas will brace the fillet. Post marination we will cut the fish into strips like this. Marination makes the fish a lot softer and thus cutting becomes easier. That's why I prefer to do it later. We have kept breadcrumbs ready in a plate and beaten eggs seasoned well with salt and pepper. You can see how well these fish strips have absorbed the applied masala on it. Now we will take each strip at a time, dip it inside the egg like this and finally coat it with the breadcrumbs. It is indeed a very special recipe and acts good as a starter. It also serves brilliant when accompanied by flavored rice in the main course. We will repeat the same process again, dipping the strip in the egg and roll it over in the breadcrumbs. Looks a little messy though, but believe me, it is worth taking the pain. With this, I have suddenly recoiled the famous proverb, today's pain is tomorrow's gain. But for you all, you need not wait till tomorrow to enjoy its heavenly bite. I am sure many of you are already arranging the ingredients and surely make them at home. Once you are done with that, do mark me your remarks in the comment section and I will surely be answering back. Positive or negative, please update me with your feedback or your suggestions which I will eagerly be looking forward to. This is the last finger I am rolling and now I will keep it along with the others in the tray. Now comes the final stage of our recipe wherein we will fry the fish fingers. I generally use less oil but it's preferable to be deep fried. You can check out its color. 
what a lovely golden color it is so next time your guests are home and you are serving this to them hot keep them guessing which restaurant is it from you never know they might chew their own fingers with it voila all fish fingers are ready to be savored seriously no one can eat just one if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up and share it as much as possible for those who are yet to subscribe to my channel please go ahead and do it now for subscription is totally free sincere thanks for watching this video i will again be back next time with another rocking super tasty recipe till then goodbye shabba khair keep smiling